let's say that I want to get from here to over there. I have a few options. I can walk this way and go around the block and take five minutes. I could jump over this fence or I can easily walk through here. Now this is called the path of least resistance and can be thought of as parsimony. Parsimony is a problem solving principle which posits that the simplest solutions tend to be the right ones. Also known as Occam's razor, named eponymously after William of Occam, a 14th century philosopher and theologian, the razor is a metaphor for the shaving off of unnecessary assumptions. So, what William is saying is that when one is presented with a set of hypotheses, they should select the solution with the fewest assumptions. So, instead of believing that ice melts because it's conscious, afraid of death, and is really just crying, we should believe that the warmer air around it transfers kinetic energy to the ice particles, making them move faster, and hence, making the ice melt. So, fundamentally, what the law is saying is that we investigate the simplest explanations first. This can be further understood through a saying among doctors. When you hear hoofbeats, think horses, not zebras. Now, in medical terms, a zebra is a rare disease. So they're saying, look for the simpler explanation first. Still don't understand? Maybe our boy Stephen Hawking can help us out. In his seminal book, A Brief History of Time, he discusses how prior to Einstein coming on the scene, scientists attempted to unify their prior held beliefs that space and time are distinct with the conflicting discovery that the speed of light is fixed. One such attempt was the creation of the luminiferous ether, an all-encompassing medium through which light can travel. However, this and other attempts had too many new assumptions which couldn't quite be explained. Then, Einstein came on the scene and he said, Hey, space and time, they're just the same thing. This was parsimony at its finest. We can extend this to the theory of mind in a similar fashion, wherein the dualist claim that there exists a mental substance is analogous to the luminiferous ether. If parsimony is to be considered, then we should reject this hypothesis altogether. As identity theorist J.J. C. Smart states in his article, Sensations and Brain Processes, it seems to me that science is increasingly giving us a viewpoint whereby organisms are able to be seen as psychochemical mechanisms. If you can account for the mental phenomenon with a theory which only includes the brain and its properties, why even consider dualism?